Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, why do you get no such element exception in Selenium automation? Let me answer. There are several reasons for getting no such element exception during Selenium automation. So the main reasons are wrong locator. Let me practically demonstrate each and every reason for you. Wrong locator. If you provide wrong locator for locating the element, then you'll get no such element exception. So here I'll write some script. Web driver. Driver is equal to new. Chrome driver. Over the mouse and import this from Selenium library. Also this one from Selenium library. After that, driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then driver dot get. Now provide the application URL. Once you open the application URL, okay. Let's say I want to locate this element. Right, you can inspect this. Uh, okay, so it has an ID. Copy this, and here I'll write on driver dot find element. Driver dot find element. Pi dot ID, provide the ID locator of that element and say dot send keys. I would like to enter my name into the text pool. Okay. I'm just giving my name. This is going to work without any exception because we gave a correct locator here. So when I run the script, so when I run the script, this script is going to work fine and my name will be typed into the text area field on this application URL page without any problems. Yes, observe. We'll open the browser, maximize the browser window, open the application URL, and it will type my name into the text area field. And there's no exception coming here in the output. Okay, there's no exception in the output that has got passed also. But what if I give, I, I provide some wrong locator here. I just added two, three, four, okay, which is a wrong locator. When you provide a wrong locator, Selenium will not be able to find this element. And in return, it will give you an exception known as this exception that is no such element exception. Let me run this. So this time it will not be able to Selenium will not be able to find that exterior field and it will immediately give you an exception known as no such element exception in the output. Okay because they're unable to locate this element with this locator, okay? That is the wrong locator. This is one case where you get no such element exception in Selenium automation. What is the other reason? Element available on the page with a delay, okay? If you have not implemented any waiting mechanism and there is a timing problem for the element to be displayed on the page, so Selenium will not wait, okay? Selenium will, Selenium will only wait for the web page to load, but if the web page is not loading and the element is not coming, on time, then Selenium is not going to wait for that element. Rather, Selenium will give you no such element exception because it is not able to find the element. I'll give you an example of that. So let me take you to this application. So what I'm going to do here is, there's a button here, drop down button. Okay, so when I click on the button, you see the page is not refreshing. And after a delay, the Flipkart option is coming. You see, when I click on this button, immediately the Flipkart option is not coming. It's coming with a delay. And if I want the Selenium web driver to click on this Flipkart option, it will not wait for the Flipkart option to be available. Okay. When it, when it is uh, trying to click the Flipkart option, Flipkart is, option is not come at. So we have to make the Selenium to wait for the Flipkart option to overcome this problem. If you don't wait, you will get no such element exception. So I'll just uh, show you the scenario in real time. So here, uh, first I'll click on this uh, drop down button. Inspect this drop down button. So it has a class, copy this class and simply write down driver dot find element by dot class name, provide the class locator and say dot click. Okay, once you click on this drop down button, the flip card option will not come immediately. It will come with a delay. Inspect this flip card option. It is a link text locator, copy this link text locator and write down driver dot find element by dot uh, link text. And uh, in the double quotes, give the link text locator of flip card option and say dot click. 
here after you click on the drop down button you are not waiting for the flipkart option you are not making the selenium web driver to wait for the flipkart option rather you are drag directly trying to click on the flipkart option when it is not available on the page because of which selenium will not be able to find the flipkart option and will give you no such element exception run this you will get no such element exception now So Selenium has not clicked on the Flipkart option and instead you got a which exception? No such element exception. Okay. You see Flipkart option is not there. It is saying. So what's the problem? Waiting mechanism is a problem. So I have to implement some waiting mechanism like uh, uh, explicit wait or whatever the wait. Web driver wait. Wait is equal to new. Web driver wait. Okay. Put a semicolon here. Over the mouse on this web driver wait. And import this here, write down driver, comma, duration dot of seconds and give maximum 10 seconds up to maximum of 10 seconds. It can wait for this wait dot until expected conditions dot visibility of element located by which locator by dot link text flip cut option. Just give that here. Put a semicolon. That's it. You are you are now waiting for the flipkart option for a maximum of ten seconds. If the flipkart option comes within ten seconds, it will not wait for entire ten seconds. Whatever the time flipkart option comes, Selenium will uh, wait only till the time the flipkart appears on the page and then perform this operation. Okay, this time you will not get any exception. This time it will click on the flipkart option. Okay. Click on the drop down button. Once the flip card option comes, it will click on the flip card option automatically. Okay. You see, it's waiting for the flip card option and then clicking. Okay. So, this is what? So, to avoid the exception, we have to implement this waiting mechanism. So, for timing issues, also you'll get if you have not implemented the waiting mechanism or if you have timing issues, you'll get no such element exception. The other reason why you will get no such element exception in Selenium automation, the main reason is there may be different reasons, but these are the three main reasons. Element is inside a frame. Okay. Element is inside a frame or on a different window also. Okay, we can also write down this element is on a different uh, different window also. Okay, there's one more case also. These are all these are the main cases. Okay, why you get no such element exception? Element inside a frame. So let me take you to one example page where we have a frame and all. So I'll take you to this uh, one application that is uh, internet. Heroku app. Okay, just go search for this internet Heroku. You'll get this uh, the internet kind of thing. And here on this, uh, there is a frames kind of thing. You see frames kind of link is there. Go to that. Go to the normal frame. Copy this URL and paste it here. If the element is inside the frame and you are trying to directly perform the operation on the element, for example, I want to clear this text. Your content goes here. Text is there. Now I want to clear that out. Okay. So what I will do here is I'll inspect right click inspect. Okay, so this ID is there. Okay, so ID with the paragraph. Okay, I'll copy this. Uh, I'll create an export expression double slash body at the rate ID is equal to slash p. Copy this now. Simply write down driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locate. Uh, I mean by dot x path, right? Sorry, by dot x path provide the x path expression and say dot clear. Okay, I want to do that. I want to clear the text here. Your content goes here. Text I want to clear. So this is not going to work out. Why? Because this particular element which I am trying to clear is inside a frame which we don't know now, okay? You will get an exception, then you will find it out, okay? The text is not going to get cleared up. Instead, we are going to get an exception known as no, no such element exception. You see, the content goes here is not cleared. 
instead you got an exception known as no such element exception because that element that you are trying to locate is inside a frame this particular element is inside a frame how to find out whether that element is inside a frame uh, there are multiple ways the easiest way is use is to use the selectors of plugin okay one way is to right click and see if you are getting any frame options if you are getting frame options means this element is inside the frame the other best way to find out is uh, okay copy this xpath expression that you created go to the selectors of install the selectors of add-on from google chrome uh, and then go to the chrome dev tools and go to the uh, this last tab selectors of and press enter you see one element matching but this element is inside the frame clearly selectors are be saying that if this element is inside the frame which frame the scroll up you will find out the frame you see this is the frame the frame has an id copy this id of the frame and what you have to do simply is before performing any operation on that element before performing any operation on this particular element you have to switch to the frame driver dot switch to dot frame of and give the id of the frame in the double quotes mention the id of the frame frame id okay it will switch to the frame then it will perform the operation now this will work run this This time it will clear the text. Okay. You see the text got clear in the text field and we didn't get any exception. So this is one case where you will get no such element exception. And uh, if you switch to the frame and then perform the operation, you will you will you can overcome that exception. The other situation where you will get this no such element exception is when you try to click on an element uh, which is there on a different window, okay, not on the default window, on a different window which have not switched to. So I'll give you an example, for example, this application. So from this application, let's say you click on this link, another window came. Now you get the, this, uh, you know, this paragraph text. You have to retrieve this paragraph text and print in the output console. That's what is your task. Let's do it. Copy this and give the URL here. Now, name all this stuff. Once you open the application URL, you have to click on this link, inspect this link. So here we got the link text, copy this link text and write down driver dot find element by dot uh, link text, provide the link text locator and say dot click. And it'll click on the link. You'll get this uh, child window pop-up. Okay, once you click on the link, you'll get this uh, child window pop up now i'll inspect this uh, paragraph text this paragraph text uh, has an id i'll copy this id and get the text between the tags copy this id and locate this paragraph driver dot find element driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of that and say dot dot what get text retrieve the text paragraph text string para text is equal to now system dot out dot print ln para text and finally say driver dot pitch this thing is not going to work anyhow you are not going to get no such element exception because okay you are trying to get the this paragraph text from this uh, child window, okay, without switching to it. So, Selenium is by default on the default window. So, it can, it, 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 it will try to find this uh, paragraph text on the main window or original window or the default window and it will not be able to find the para text and it will give you no such element exception. Okay, so you see, you will get no such element exception because the Selenium is still there on the this window selenium is searching for that paragraph on this window not this child window then how to make the selenium move to this window from here to here how to move for that we have to write some logic that is here before performing this operation to retrieve the text okay so here after you click on the open a pop-up window link two windows will come two windows will be open okay so 
main window and child window will open. Two windows will be there. So what I will do here is two windows are there. So I have to capture these windows. Driver dot. Okay, get window handles. I have to say get window handles. It will return you the window IDs, the form of set of string. Okay, window IDs. All the currently open window IDs, it will be returning in the form of set of string. Now I'll write a for for each loop. For each and every window ID is a string. Spring window ID, window ID, colon, window IDs, like this. For each and every window ID, I'll iterate. And I'll switch to one of the window ID, uh, which is in coming in one of the iteration. We don't know in which order they are coming because that will store in random order. So we don't know whether the first window ID is a parent window ID or child window ID. So we'll simply blindly switch to one of the window ID, switch to window of give that window ID, this particular window ID here. Once you switch it, we don't know whether we have switched to parent or child. So for that, I'll do one thing. If driver dot get title, driver dot get title dot equals, I'll, I'll retrieve the title of that particular window and verify whether that is a child window or not. Okay. If the title is coming as uh, this basic web page title, right? With, uh, with page source. Here, we, this is the title of the page. If this is the title of the window, means that is a child window. Okay. We have switched to the child window. Otherwise, we are on the main window. Close this all this stuff. If the title matches, then we are on the which window? Child window. In that case, I'll do this. I'll just do this. Okay. And uh, then simply, I'll say driver dot which. Otherwise, I'll simply break and pitch. Okay. There's no need to iterate if I already find the child window. Fine. This is, we'll get the, we'll switch to the child window. This time we'll not get no such element exception because we are switching to the child window and then retrieving the and finding the element on that particular child window. Okay. Earlier, the, uh, we were finding the element on the main window. Now we are trying to find the element on the child window. You see, a paragraph of text working fine. We didn't get any exception, like no such element exception has not come. So, hope guys, you understood the several reasons with practical demonstration on, okay, why do you get no such element exception during Selenium automation and what are several reasons for that and what are the solutions to overcome that no such element exception uh, because of these reasons. The practical demonstration I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.